Every year of Roman Reigns' WWE career, ranked from worst to best. Welcome friends to the channel. Hope you all are doing well in quarantine. Team decided that we will upload a video daily about Roman and other topics. So suggest any topic you want in comments. I will not ask you to subscribe before you even watch the video. Watch the video, then if you are a fan of Roman and like the video, subscribe the channel. The big dog has enjoyed quite a decorated WWE career, although some years were better than others for Roman Reigns. Love or hate him, there can be no denying that Roman Reigns is one of the best WWE superstars of the last decade. From being a member of The Shield to headlining countless WrestleManias as a singles wrestler, there's nothing he hasn't done in his WWE career. The big dog burst to the top of WWE in astonishing style. While it frustrated many fans, others respected Reigns for his consistent hustle and brilliant work, with the wrestler producing some amazing matches over the years. While not every year of Reigns' WWE career has been perfect, he certainly does have a very impressive track record. Here's every year of Roman Reigns' WWE career ranked from worst to best. Number 8. 2012. While 2012 saw The Shield officially debut in WWE, it didn't happen until November, therefore, Roman Reigns wasn't really part of WWE for much of the year. Even though he made a big impact in a short space of time, it is hard to say that 2012 was anything other than Reigns' worst year. It wasn't bad by any stretch, as The Shield dominated upon their arrival, helping CM Punk retain his WWE Championship. However, as they didn't compete much, it's hard to rank it higher. However, Shield's incredible TLC match against Team Hell No and Ryback remains one of the group's greatest matches of all time. Number 7. 2019. 2019 was, in personal terms, an amazing year for Roman Reigns. This year saw him defeat leukemia and make his return to the company, which was an unbelievable moment that the WWE Universe rightfully loved. However, instead of capitalizing on the fan support he had, WWE moved Reigns to SmackDown and put him in a series of awful feuds. Firstly he went against Shane McMahon for a while, and then there was the mystery of the hit and run which dragged on for far too long. To end the year, the big dog started his dog food storyline with King Corbin, which was utterly dreadful. It's a real shame as his 2019 started so great with a fantastic feud against Drew McIntyre, but it quickly fizzled out. Number 6. 2016. 2016 had some good and bad for Roman Reigns, making it a tough year to rank. The WWE Universe firmly turned against him this year, and people really didn't want to see him in the main event slots. Reigns' WrestleMania main event against Triple H did not go over well with fans, and his world title run wasn't appreciated either. However, he did also put in some fantastic matches over the course of the year, as he always does. During this year, Reigns also feuded with the League of Nations, which remains one of the wrestler's worst storylines that didn't do much for his popularity. Number 5. 2014. 2014 was another incredible year for Roman Reigns as a performer, as it saw The Shield involved in some amazing battles against the Wyatt family and Evolution, proving they were one of the best factions of all time. This year also saw the split of the group, with Seth Rollins turning on his brothers. This was one of the most shocking moments in WWE history, and it created a major singles push for the big dog. Reigns kicked on by himself, and while he didn't start winning world titles at this point, it was clear that WWE saw him as the main guy moving forward. Number 4. 2018. 2018 was a great year for Roman Reigns in the ring, but an incredibly tough year for him on a personal level, as he was diagnosed with leukemia for the second time in his life. Fortunately, Reigns overcame that, and when you look back at the year in terms of his WWE career, it really was a great one. Reigns feuded with Brock Lesnar throughout the year, eventually earning the Universal Championship as a loved babyface. 2018 also saw The Shield reunite for some fantastic matches, and Reigns brought the best out of the likes of Bobby Lashley, Jinder Mahal, and Samoa Joe. Number 3. 2013. This year was a dominant one for The Shield, as they defeated all comers no matter the storyline. All three men picked up titles, with Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins having a brilliant run as tag team champions. The group had countless amazing matches and just proved themselves to be the future of WWE. They quickly won over fans as one of the top groups around, and they instantly became undeniable. 
nobody could deal with the shield, and they went on to become an incredibly cool trio who fans love to see, with Reigns being incredibly popular at this point. Number 2. 2015. While 2015 was the year that fans started to sour on Roman Reigns, this was still an amazing year for him. The big dog established himself as a top singles talent in 2015, and it was clear nobody was going to stop him. This year brought Reigns to the top of the card and saw him have an unforgettable WrestleMania match with Brock Lesnar and Seth Rollins. He also had what remains one of his best ever matches against Daniel Bryan at Fastlane 2015. Number 1. 2017. As a talent, 2017 is easily Roman Reigns' best year in WWE as he really did it all. He put on amazing matches every time he appeared and was involved in some tremendous feuds throughout the year. Reigns' summer feud with Braun Strowman was unforgettable, and it really put the monster amongst men on the map as a talent, all while proving that Reigns could carry new talent to good matches. In 2017, Reigns also put on a classic match with John Cena and defeated The Undertaker at WrestleMania, while also becoming a Grand Slam champion with the Intercontinental Championship. 2017 will be tough to top. So list is over now. We will not talk about 2020 because it's still going on and hope it will be the best of the big dog. Question. Who was the best rival or opponent of Roman Reigns? And who was the worst? There one more video on the channel where we told the top 5 rivals and 5 worst rivals of Roman Reigns, you can check it out on the i button or in description. Keep supporting. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Your subscribe helps me a lot. See you in the next videos.